Paul Lloyd Webb, Lou Dub with the Melbourne Cup news. We start today on a sad note with the news that Luna Flair has been withdrawn from the 2023 Melbourne Cup and retired after suffering an injury in or after the Mooney Valley Gold Cup last night. Trainer Graham Begg wrote on social media today, the 28th of October, that Luna Flair suffered a career-ending injury after last night's race and she will be retired immediately. Mark Zara copped a seven-meeting ban and $50,000 fine for excessive whip use on without a fight in the Caulfield Cup last week. The seven-meeting ban allows Zara to ride in the Cox Plate and return for Derby Day the next Saturday. Still on the subject of Mark Zara, the champion jockey stated recently that he would make a decision on which horse he will ride in the Melbourne Cup after the Cox Plate on the 28th of October. But as an aside, in my spare time this week, I got down to the Anthony and Sam Friedman stables in undercover mode, of course, and I spoke with Without a Fight, or WAF, as he prefers to be known. And he told me that he would not be trying in the Melbourne Cup if, and I quote, that horrible little monster, Mark Zara, is on my back. Let's take a look at the latest order of entry list. Many, many withdrawals, including Francesco Gardi, Spanish Mission, Goldman and Emissary, have led to the situation where Joseph O'Brien's two hopefuls, Valiant King and Okita Sushi, are almost assured of a start. Meanwhile, more felons, aka scriptwriter, will still likely miss the cut for the Melbourne Cup, um, being ranked at 29 in the order of entry. Now, take note that hasn't been edited for the withdrawal of Luna Flair, but I just fancy that for more felons to make the field, they probably have to run him again. Keeping in mind that we still have the Archer Stakes on Derby Day, that is a win and you're in race. It's all about the jockeys today with some news on riders for the Melbourne Cup. In case you hadn't heard, Jao Marrera has been booked for Barrier Shire Sulcombe and Craig Williams is now on the French import La Stochka. For more information on La Stochka, click the link in the video description and you can watch all four of her races in France from earlier this year. Overseas in the world's most famous Black Lives Matter supporting jockey Frankie Detois will not be riding in the Melbourne Cup this year after falling victim to the UK's woke anti-whip rules. He's out for 16 days and will also miss the Breeders' Cup in the US. If you didn't already know, Detori actually reversed his retirement plans and is likely to base himself in the US for 2024. Finally, Ahmad, the winner of the Geelong Cup, is unlikely to run in the Melbourne Cup, with trainer Philip Stokes preferring a shot at the VRC's version of the Queen Elizabeth Stakes on the weekend after the Melbourne Cup. This is Lou Dub. Don't say I didn't tell you.